Hey, what's up guys? Sam from Arctic Gecko. And today we are gonna do kind of an unboxing and setup of my new bioactive enclosure. So I am turning Ember's old cage uh, bioactive. Um, so when I get eggs from Mango, the babies will go into the smaller cage and I'm turning that bioactive. So this is gonna be great. I got this big box from Josh's Frogs. Now, let's see what's inside. So, as I look in here, let's see, we've got our order certificate, and we've got some cards. Let's see, some isopod cards, care basics for isopods. Thank you for ordering. And Josh and Frogs. Okay, so let's see. So I've got a substrate barrier. This will come in handy for when the hydroton goes in, and then you put substrate over this so that the substrate doesn't get into the hydroton for the drainage layer. And then let's see. Some packaging. Um, let's see. So here it looks like we've got some oak leaf litter, I think. I think it's oak leaf litter. It might be magnolia. Um, let's see. And here, I think these are our isopods. I'm pretty sure these are our dwarf white isopods. So there are those guys. Let's see. Some tips for plants. And insects. Let's see, now we've got some Josh's Frog bio bedding. And this is a nice bioactive bedding that I'm going to mix with my ABG mix, which is charcoal, sphagnum, it looks like some sawdust, and probably got some bio bedding in it too. Um, let's see, Oops. here we've got Plant. Yeah, for the plants, I got a Crested Gecko plant kit. So here's one of them. This guy looks kind of wilty, so it looks like we'll have to get him in right away. What else? Here we've got another plant. This one's called Diffenbachia. Let's see. Looks like that. And then we've got another plant. And this one is a Syngonium Photophyllum, and it, aka candy. There's that. And nice heat pack to keep everything warm. And let's see. Here's our hydroton. So this will act as the drainage layer. And we got one more plant. And this one is more, you can see what it looks like. And this one is called Epicremium Aurum or neon pothos. So this is a pothos thing. Um, and I don't think I told you what the first one was. This first one right here, this one was Philodendron Cordatum. So there's that one. So yeah, it's like that's everything. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get it all in the enclosure and get it going. So as you might already know, the hydroton. Um, it's really dusty, so what you gotta do before you put it in the enclosure is you have to rinse it out. And so I'm gonna put it in the strainer and rinse out all the dust before it goes into the enclosure. So now that I have the hydroton washed out, it's now time to clean Ember's cage out and 
then you put all the new stuff in. So first we'll do Hydroton, then uh, Hydroton cover, that the mesh that I showed you earlier. And then we'll go on to the substrates and then finally the isopods and plants. substrate barrier in the hydroton so that the substrate doesn't get mixed up with the hydroton because that could be bad. Pretty good fit. Okay, so first, I'm gonna have to mix the ABG with the biobedding. So once I do that, I'll put it in here. Okay, so now that we have our substrate, and this is a awesome mix of ABG and biobedding, and this is just rich, healthy soil. This will be perfect for what we're using it for. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's go put it in the enclosure. Okay, so here we have our substrate and our cage. There's the other cage. There's Mango. Hi, Mango. So we're going to put this in here. Let's get it done. I'm going to start putting this substrate in. Okay, so now that all this is in, I think I'm going to put this plant in. So this one looks like it might be a creeper, so I'm going to put it in this corner here. So I'll we'll put some more soil in here, and then I'll give it a good watering after this. So now that we have all the plants in, it's time to put the isopods in. So here we have our dwarf white isopods, dwarf tropical whites, and I think let's just... Dig around and there's one. You can see it right in there. That little white speck. Really teeny tiny. Let's see. There it is. 
So here we have a little uh, dwarf tropical white isopod on my finger here. It's actually on his back right now, but as you can see, they're really tiny. So I'm going to go ahead and put him right in here. Oh, there he is. Come on. Oh, he can find his way. Let's see. I think I'm just going to dust this around. There are the isopods. There, we've got our isopods in there. Now, I think it's time to put the springtails in. So here are springtails. Man, there's so many of them. Let's open them up. Come on. No, it's hard to get off. Oh, there's some springtails in there. So, man, they're tiny. So I'm just going to dust some of this in here. Now that we have our little cleanup crew in here, our isopods and springtails, we're just about done. Now we'll just have to wait for Mango here to lay some eggs, and then we'll have some babies in here. One thing I do need for the plants to survive is a UV bulb up here, so I'll have to pick one of those up, and then we'll be good. So I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I did building it. Please like and subscribe as always, and leave in the comments what you'd like to see in videos to come. See you next time.